So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can understand these parallel wires. And again, one of my early videos introduced the equation and how we got this equation. But right now, I want to focus a little bit on this A. And this A is the distance between the two wires. We could have used a D, we could have used some sort of other variable, but it's a straight line distance. And that's why I don't typically use the R that some textbooks would use in order to represent that A. Now, when we look at a specific problem, we have to be aware of what that distance is. So my students had a practice problem that involved one long straight wire, which was next to a rectangular loop. Well, when you start actually calculating the forces, be aware that you have to look at the distances from the long wire to the left-hand side of the loop. And in this case, that's given the symbol C on the diagram. And then the distance from the wire one to the right-hand side of the loop is actually going to be this full distance, which would be an A plus C. So as you're working with a diagram, look carefully at the diagram because the way they label the distances may not match our equation. And again, in the equation, what we primarily worried about is the distance between the wires that we're trying to find the force on. And the equation calls that A. But when you're looking at a specific diagram, that diagram may label it in several different ways. So when you work with the equation, don't just plug in A because it says A. Actually look at the distances between those different locations. So here, that would be the first A you have to use. And then this would be the second distance you have to use. And again, in the equation, it's called A. But you need to look at your diagram to figure out what the actual numbers should be.